This is just a quick update on the Christmas rum and raisin beer that I brewed before Christmas. It's now mid-March, so what have we got? I, probably, I think I brewed this around about uh, October or November of last year. Um, so this beer is coming up to nearly six months uh, of brewing, fermenting, conditioning. Now I've had this in the keg, in my kegerator. Um, I did put, so I originally carbonated it just with carbon dioxide. I carbonated it to, I think it was two volumes. And then once I'd done that, I put nitrogen on it and I was serving it off nitrogen for a while. Now the nitrogen has infused into the beer, as you can see from when I poured it, uh, you were getting that nice cascading effect that you get with, with really good stouts. I poured this beer probably nearly five minutes ago. So by the time I got the beer poured, I came inside, I set up the camera, I got the microphone on, did a few other things, tied it up around here so you don't see the mess. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a good five minutes. As you can see, the head is still thick and luscious on there. It's starting to break down a little bit now, but it is very tight. Let me just get the camera and show you from the top what it looks like. So there it is. It's a very moose-like head. It's off-white. It's long-lasting. As I said, it's starting to break down now, but still looking really good, leaving some lacing on the side of the glass. But that head is just magnificent. Up until now, I've been tasting it every now and again. It's been really harsh. It's an Imperial, so it's over 11%. It does have, on the nose, you, you still get a little hint of alcohol, but it's not as nearly as strong as it was. So it's mellowed a lot. Those spices are coming through a bit more now, but they're also muted a little bit, so they've developed as well. So you're not getting the harshness of those spices. You're getting them on the back of the palate. So you, the... the on the aroma, they are there. You're also getting the malt from the beer. Uh, I'm getting that, that chocolate malt, the really dark malts that are coming through. Um, as far as carbonation, yeah, it's still carbonated. There's still bubbles in there. You can see clinging to the side of the glass. Um, you're getting ruby red highlights, but only at the very bottom of the glass. Apart from that, that beer is not see-through at all. I cannot see any light coming through that, looking up at the, the light fixture up there. So this is a very dark beer. Um, what else can I tell you about it? We put some raisins in there. So the, some raisins went into the boil. And I think that's some of the, the sweetness I'm getting on the nose. Hmm. It's... it's looks beautiful. Not getting any astringency. Getting those chocolate. It's chocolate on the front of the palate and coffee to the back. So getting coffee and chocolate together like a mocha. It's absolutely beautiful. And then as it starts to fade, you get that coffee coming through. Not the bitterness of the coffee, but that actual, um, the, the actual coffee, the caffeine flavor. There's still a little bit of residual sweetness in there. If anything, it's just a touch too sweet. I think it finished at around 10.20. I wanted it to finish a little bit high. I think I planned on it finishing around 10.16, 10.18. It finished a little bit higher than I wanted. I wanted a little bit of residual sweetness in there uh, just to, to counterbalance the alcohol. So it is a strong beer. It's 11%, 12%, something around there. Um, you wouldn't pick it though. You wouldn't think that it was that strong a beer. I mean, I had probably three of these last night and yeah, it did hit me, but when you're drinking them, it doesn't taste like an 11% beer. As it warms up a little, some of those spices are coming out. I'm getting, I think I'm getting the cinnamon most of all. A little bit of nutmeg. Nutmeg's one of my favourite spices. Anyway, 
I'll put a card to the original grain to glass episode that, that came out uh, a little while ago and you can and compare it to to what it is now um, I haven't re-watched that to see what it was like I just wanted to give my impression of what it is now it really is a lot more drinkable than it was back then which just goes to prove and I have read this before that imperial stouts anything with that strong alcohol percentage needs time to develop so things like your Belgian triples and doubles need time to develop they need time in the keg conditioning so that all of those flavors can start to combine and it all just nicely evens out so that time is the key to good beer you'll have seen the other shirt that i wear it's grain plus water plus yeast plus time equals beer that's the one thing we always forget because we're especially something new that we haven't brewed before. We're keen to get it. We're keen to taste it. Don't do that. If it's a beer that needs time, give it the time it needs. There's a, a, a saying with horses. You can give your horse time to think about what it's learned or you can wish you did. Same thing goes with beer. You can give the beer time to develop or you can wish you did. But that's it for this episode. It's just a, a short one. Um, if you would like to help the channel out, there's a couple of ways you can do that now. If you go to backyardbrewer.com.au forward slash shop, there's a number of options up there. Um, the t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, glassware, things like that. You can get this t-shirt there. I identify as a brewer and my pronouns are molten hop. Um, there's a couple of others, uh, just funny little sayings. Um, uh, I drink, therefore I am by Rennie Descartes. Um, another new one, Carpe, Carpe Servizia, um, taken obviously from Carpe Diem, uh, which means seize the beer. Okay, so a few things like that. We also have Patreon. If you go to patreon.com forward slash backyard brewer, uh, you can support us that way as well. If you haven't subscribed, and I checked today, and we still have about 28% of viewers who aren't subscribed to the channel. Click the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you see when all of our new content comes out. Give us a like, and if you've got any questions about this beer or anything else, drop a comment and I get back to all the comments as, as quickly as I can. Sometimes it takes a day or two, but I do try to get back to every comment. In the meantime, enjoy the hobby, but drink responsibly. Cheers. Cheers.